Hi everyone, here we're asked to solve the system of equations, which this is the whole system, so it's these two equations. There's an x variable and a y variable in each equation. So as long as we have two equations and two unknowns, so the same number of variables or unknowns as we have equations, we can solve for them both. Uh, there's a couple ways of doing it. We actually saw in the last video that you can use substitution, which involves isolating one of the variables and substituting in what that variable is equal to into the other equation. Here we're asked to use elimination, which is sometimes called uh, addition subtraction as well. Uh, and it's, an, it's another very useful form of solving systems of equations, linear equations that is. Uh, so we're going to take a look at that now. What elimination involves is matching coefficients uh, but on a certain variable. So if we, let's just write that down for a second. So match coefficients, that's sort of your step one when you're either asked to use elimination or coefficients, there we go. When you're either asked to use elimination or you're just asked to solve and you feel like using elimination because sometimes it can be the fastest method. In this case, when we say match coefficients, we want to look at our x's and our y's from the two equations. And the coefficient, that word just means the number in front of the variable. So it's multiplied to the variable. So in the first equation, 2 is the coefficient on x, negative 3 is the coefficient on y. Those are coefficients. So when I say we want to match them up, we want the same coefficient on the x in equation 1 that we have on the x in equation 2. Or we want the same coefficient on the y in equation 1 that we have on the y in equation 2. Then we're ready to actually perform the elimination and you'll see how that works. So right now, uh, none of the coefficients match up, right? We can see we have a 2 on the x in the first equation, a 5 on the x in the second. Those don't match. We have a negative 3 on the y in the first and a positive 1 on the y in the second. Also don't match. So what we can use uh, is we can use multiplica multiplication. And what I mean by that is that we can multiply an entire equation by a, a certain constant, so a number. And as long as you do it to both sides of the equal sign, you're not, uh, you know, changing the balance of the equation. So we could just say, oh, we want to multiply this whole first equation by 5 if we wanted to. That's perfectly okay. So we can use that as long as, let's say we did want to multiply by 5, we multiply each part by 5, including this 11, so that you're multiplying both sides of the equal sign by 5, perfectly allowed. So when we're looking at this question, we want to say, okay, what's an easy way to multiply an equation so that the coefficients are matching? Well, I'm going to look at this and I'm going to say, okay, we could multiply, if we wanted to match the coefficients on the x's, let's say, we've got a 2 in equation 1, we've got a 5 in equation 2, we could multiply the entire first equation by, well, it would take it, it would take multiplying it by 2.5 in order to match 5 and 5 on the x's. But 2.5 isn't very, isn't really that nice of a number to multiply to. So instead, I'm going to say, okay, I see I have a negative 3 on the y in the first equation, and I have a positive 1 on the y in the second equation. Make sure you realize that, that there's a positive 1 here. We don't usually write it, but it's there. So what would I need to multiply to match uh, coefficients? Well, I'm going to multiply this second equation by negative 3 because that will make the 1, 1 times negative 3 is negative 3 and then we'll be matching. So I'm going to rewrite those two equations. So we didn't do anything to the first equation. It remains at 2x minus 3y equals 11. And the second equation now becomes 5x times negative 3 is negative 15x. 1y times negative 3 is negative 3y and that equals 2 times negative 3. Don't forget to multiply the 2. And that becomes negative 6. Now, we can see that 
our coefficients are matching. So we have a negative 3y in the first, we have a negative 3y in the second. The beauty about systems of equations is that you can add equations to each other or subtract them. So remember, just like in substitution, we're trying to eliminate one of the variables so that we can solve for the other. So if we want to get rid of the y now, we can say, okay, let's take the first equation and subtract the entire second equation. The reason I knew it was subtract is that we have negative 3y in the first, I have negative 3y in the second, so negative 3y plus negative 3y would become negative 6y, and that wouldn't get rid of the y. I want to end up with 0y, so I want to do negative 3y subtract negative 3y, and that will become 0y, or 0. So watch what I mean. 2x minus negative 15x, so minus a negative, that becomes positive, so 2 plus 15x is 17x. Negative 3y minus negative 3y is plus 0, like we said, so we don't even need to write that. We can skip right to the other side. We get 11 minus negative 6. Again, minus a negative is positive, so that becomes 11 plus 6, which is 17. Now it's a simple equation, one variable, one unknown. Divide both sides by 17, and we get x equals 17 divided by 17 is 1. So we've already found our x-coordinate where these two lines intersect. Now you can plug it back into the first equation. So that first equation was 2x minus 3y equals 11, but we've just found that x equals 1. So it's 2 times 1 minus 3y equals 11. 2 minus 3y equals 11. I'm going to say, I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. So I get minus 3y equals 11 minus 2 is minus 9. I'm sorry, it's positive 9. And last step is divide by 3. Divide by, divide by negative 3. We get y equals 9. Divided by negative 3 is negative 3. So I know the solution to this systems of, the system of equations is the point 1, negative 3, just like we saw in the last video. Um, so really important, we want to match coefficients using multiplication. And then, the, kind of the second step, is to add or subtract the equations. What I mean by add or subtract, here we had to subtract because we matched them as negative 3, negative 3. You don't need to match the sign. So we could have just had it negative 3y and positive 3y in the other equation, and then we would have added the two equations together instead of subtract. And that's why this elimination method is often called addition-subtraction, because you could do either one of those. So hopefully that helps, kind of try and follow those steps, match those coefficients, add or subtract the equations to eliminate one of the variables, and then it becomes a straightforward algebra problem where you've Solve for your first variable, plug it into one of the equations to solve for your second. Thanks.